keeping us informed. Moving on, MyDawa is an e-health platform that, take, that enables consumers to conveniently purchase authentic medicines and wellness products through the app or web portal. Tony Wood is the managing director at Ion Kenya, the company that operates the MyDawa app. Brenda Kirubo has more in this week's episode of Captains of Industry. Dawa is an innovative product, one of its kind in Kenya, and it is leveraging on the power of technology to provide better health outcomes for all. Consumers can pay through mobile money or health insurance and have their products delivered free of charge to a place of your convenience where they can collect at a time that fits their schedule. Prior to my dawa, Tony Wood was the Chief Operating Officer for Wananchi Business Services, responsible for government enterprise and SME customers plus the international and wholesale parts of the business. Before this, he led Alcatel Lucent East Africa and has been based in Nairobi for almost nine years. Hi, Hi, how are you, Brenda? I'm good. Well, it's nice to see you today's barbecue. It is, you're just in time for some steaks. Is this your favourite meal? Probably, yeah. Uh, steak. Are you, are steak. You? I am a meat person. I'm from Scotland, so <laughs> it's it's our staple diet. And just how good are you at this? Uh, I think I'm okay. You okay? I'm yeah, okay. The at proof it. is in the tasting. It always is, yes. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Absolutely. Yeah, so have you always wanted to be in the pharmaceutical sector? No. I, when I left school, I was going to join the Air Force as a chef. That was my passion. I loved it at school when I was younger. I was going to join the Air Force as a chef. The Air Force told me, we don't need chefs just now. We need engineers. Oh. So I joined as an engineer. I had a long career as an engineer. I left and I've been doing really technology ever since. And it's only when I joined my Dawa that I then strayed into the, or came into the pharmaceutical side of things. Speaking of my Dawa, I mean, it started in 2017 yeah. and now it's 2019. Yeah. Was it difficult selling the concept, especially to Kenyans? It's been a, it's been a, a, a journey, that's, that's for sure. And there were some elements of difficulty with it. Um, but do you know what? The reason that we chose Kenya to start is because of the the ease of adoption of new technology solutions from, from Kenyans. Um, they're very open to these things. I mean, in PESA, we all know the story. There's e-commerce has been here a long time. So, so it's just, it's just an, it's an easier country to start. Uh, and that's really the reason we started. What does the future of medicine look like? Because now, if I can do deliveries, right to the doorstep, to the customer, and not even charge them. What does the future of medicine look like? The future of medicine, I believe, will always be that personal touch. Somebody needs to speak to a pharmacist or a pharmaceutical technologist, a specialist, an expert in their field, to have that confidence. So, so whilst we, we change and we bring things online, online is happening, efficiencies are happening, they have to happen for us to, to be able to support UHC. Um, that's something really important. We have to get more from the same. So, so for me, it's, it's a slow evolution and, and bringing it online I think was a natural evolution, the way that, that most things are coming now. So I think you'll see more of that as we go forward. We also have to talk about affordability, yeah. making it affordable for the customer, for the patients. Absolutely. Talk to me a little bit about this. So, and again, this is something that sits within the big four agenda with, with UHC, is about access to affordable and good quality medication. And that's what we do. So. On one side, the customer sees an e-pharmacy that my dawa is, but also we are a supply chain solution. So we've, we've, we've worked behind the scenes to make sure that we've reduced the cost to the patient. And by also doing that, we secure our supply chain. So a patient can authenticate every single product that they buy from my dawa and, and be guaranteed that it's that it's genuine. Not time to change, right? It's, it's time to just flip. This is the fun part. I've only it's time to flip. 
<laughs> so do you want to do you want to flip a couple? Uh, you say, can you wish me luck? Oh yeah, yeah please. Yeah, cheer on. me on, Tony. <laughs> cheer me on. That's it. I'm doing excellent. a good job. Yeah, yeah? excellent. Can I excellent. lift it like this yeah. so that I can look like a professional chef? Yeah. How am I doing? It's yeah, good. You're good. Yeah, you look really scared, are you? No, no, no. no, no I'm doing no, good. No. Yeah, you're doing, see, you're doing see, very well. See, yeah. What's so interesting about Kenya, especially the Kenyan consumer, that you find so interesting that you've never seen it in any other part of the world? Kenyan consumer is has is, is a demanding consumer, which which I think is right. They they should demand the very best of services. So so that's the thing where we all have to kind of step up. In these days with Kenyans on Twitter, um, you've really got to, to make sure that your service is, is, is excellent. So where do you see yourself in the next 10 years? And what are you doing now to prepare yourself for those specific goals? I think for me, I really want to make sure that, that I can leave a legacy within this business that says we've done something good. By the time I retire, I hope this is far bigger than, than Kenya, our, our, our ambition is to, be, is to be across the continent because mm. I think we have a really good solution to do that. So is this ready for eating? It, it is, it's getting that way. We've it's got, getting... we've got some, some that are probably a little bit rare. We've got some sides, so we've got some salads, some coleslaw, some potatoes. Nice, potatoes are great and some juice. Absolutely. Yeah. So Tony, thank you so much. You're welcome. It's a pleasure. All right. So Thank I can't you. wait to dig in. <laughs> Let's serve up. <laughs> but this one I think is going to be lovely. Yes. Many thanks there, Brenda. Quite an inspiring story of my Dawa CEO. And of course, some mouth-watering beef there.